Hey, how you, how you guys are doing today? This is Eddie. Uh, this time I'm, I'm not going to talk about the energy, about the inventions that I have. This time uh, it got my attention uh, on the quantum physics, uh, Dr. Malik. Uh, I was reading what happens with him and what happens to his father and what's the reason they, he always has been trying to get the go back in time and, and get the time. Spend the time that he couldn't spend with his dad and you know, like a, every time we lost some loved one, we can never feel satisfied with what we talk about it, how much how many times do we tell them we love him and all that. But based on, on his theory, I was seeing that he has a uh, some laser beams that he's trying to create like a tunnel with it because like uh, we all know um, physics uh, we can move an object to the to do some speed or we can move the surroundings around the object what is immobile and that creates a displa uh, matter displacement which is it doesn't matter if it's just surrounding moving at 60 miles per hour per hour I'm sorry or if it's the object moving at 60 miles per hour. Per hour. Uh, he thinks by creating the tunnel we're going to be able to drop uh, a particle uh, through the tunnel and that will be pretty much a travel on, on a speed of light. Uh, if, we, if we go a little bit to the Einstein theory, he says uh, that's a energy square, which you would have mean twice as the speed of light. And even he, on, on, on his theory, even if he trying to get it to do a speed of light, he won't get achieved. He won't be able to achieve anything because it's not going twice the speed of light. Now, second of all, when we have an object. The way he, 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 he does it is throwing but creating like a wall with the lasers and, and throwing something in it. I don't think it's gonna work. And the reason is when you move an object, that's not the walls that wants to move. The whole object is moving. It's like it's surrounding himself, moving the matter from that from from that partic par particular time and space. It's moving itself, so all the surrounding all the all all all, all this all whatever all, everything is around the part particle it is moving by him throwing like a tunnel let's say we get this in here you throw something in here it comes out of here you won't be able to achieve anything because this part is still in here it's 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 in, it's in this space the only way that you can achieve that is by creating a bubble you can create a beam that's that's uh, I take myself the the freedom to send an email, which didn't answer. Uh, well, he hasn't been able to to answer it yet. But what I was suggesting him, it, it was like a creating a thicker link, a, a thicker beam of laser. That way, you can put a particle inside of the of the of the beam. That way, it will be like a surrounded, like encapsulated. But the inner, but the but the but the light going around, and it will be completely, completely surrounded by it, and then even like that, it, it, which I think is way, way better. They, they do it that way. You would have to shoot a second, thicker laser beam coming on the opposite direction, which would mean if you got if you got a particle right here. You got a particle right here. Let's say that uh, this is the laser beam, and we got the particle inside. Everything that surrounds it is going at, at the speed of light, but it's on the speed of light, and the, and, and, and it, it is traveling at speed of light because it's surrounding compared to the, the when when the object is inside. Everything that, that is uh, and surrounding it is moving at the speed of light. Well, you would have to create a second beam that comes on the speed of light and involve this one. So when it comes to our time, 
and, and the moderate over here, you already have, ha, uh, you are fighting one, one speed of light going this way and the other one going up this way. That would be able to put your two eyes at speed of light. Now, he says uh, once he gets this thing created, the, this time machine created, he's going to be able to, he, he might be start getting immediately uh, particles that he sent himself from the future, which it would be possible to do, but uh, that's, like I said, I don't know why, I just know so. Uh, it's like a lot of things that I can see around me, I, I, I can understand things way beyond uh, my studies, because I'm not like a physicist or something like that, but I have talked to a lot of physicists and, and everything that I said, it makes sense, so I don't know what, how it happens, but I just know so. So this, this is my theory. And he said that you won't be able to pass beyond the point of the creation. So, like he says, soundless, he said that he won't be able ever to go and he, see his dead. Let's say that we start sending particles and then some odd, bigger odd objects and then uh, which would have been the, our final object, uh, human beings, to be able to travel in the time. Well, his view for me is like a kind of primitive, because like a, 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 all the sciences and everything, which is based on self.